In a previous lesson, we talked about how different monitors can express color differently based on kinds of monitors you use, the age of the monitor, and the environment that the monitor is in. Your i1 studio says, hey, I know a set of specific colors and I know what they're supposed to look like. Show me what you can do and I'll adjust the color so that we're on the same page. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's fast. If the monitors can be off, then it would stand to reason that different cameras can express colors differently too, right? Each camera has a computer in it and a built-in database of colors which inform it how to make those colors. Taking that situation further, in the previous lesson we talked about how the light of your environment can affect how you see a specific color. With that, it would also stand to reason that the light of a scene can also impact how the colors are captured by the camera. What we need here is a way to take the information that is coming from a camera and say, okay, this looks wonderful, but we need to agree on what these colors are supposed to look like. That's where this comes in. This is the Color Checker Classic Mini, and it's included with the i1 Studio. It's a square that contains a series of 24 reference colors that have been designed to render accurate colors under any lighting conditions. So, this Color Checker Classic serves as a guide to tell your camera and your computer, please render these colors accurately. During the start of the shoot, make sure that you place the Color Checker Classic in the scene under the lighting conditions that you are going to make a picture in. That first picture that you take will have the colors that are rendered for the scene as well as the Color Checker in view. You only need to do that once. You can put it away and go back to shooting as you normally would. Back at the computer, install the Color Checker Passport software from the X-Rite website. You can then use this software as a standalone piece of software or as a plugin extension from inside of Lightroom. We'll go ahead and import our images into Lightroom and launch it from there. Once we have the files imported, let's select the first image with the Color Checker Classic in the frame. Click on File, Export, and select the X-Rite presets from the list on the left. You'll see a field called DNG Profile Name. That is where you can specify the name of the camera and the shooting conditions that you shot in. We'll go ahead and give this a name and click on the Export button. Now, back in Lightroom, we can select the image that we used as the source and move into the Develop module. You can even use the gray swatch in the Color Checker Classic to create a custom white balance. Pretty handy. In the Camera Calibration setting area, you'll see an area called Camera Profile. Clicking on that drop-down, it will show you the name of the profile that you created. Once you select that, the colors on the image will adjust using the colors in the Color Checker Classic as a reference. From there, you can select that one image and all of the other images in the shoot and select the Sync button to synchronize that color profile across all your images. With your monitor properly calibrated and your use of the color checker, you are now making sure that you have the exact colors you need to make your project really sing. Now, if you use more than just your camera and a monitor, don't worry, we've got you covered. The next lessons will talk about how you can use the i1 Studio to make sure that your printer and mobile devices are calibrated perfectly. If you want to learn more, make sure you visit xrayphoto.com. My name is RC. Thanks for watching.